is awesome. And it says, Jenna, can I give you a sensual massage? <laughs> then I will talk about Jesus. <laughs> my new favorite. <laughs> my shoulders are sore. I could use some spiritual guidance. Where's Jenna when you need her? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's cool. This one came from uh, uh, Sacramento, University of California, Davis. And it seems like it's a quiz in some class. This, this kid had answered six questions to this quiz. And uh, like you can deduce what some of these questions might have been. Some of them I have no idea. So here's his six answers to this quiz. He says, Number one, I would name my twins Mickey and Minnie. Cool. Number two, hell no. Hell no. I mean, if you're going to control the U.S. armed forces, you have to be born and raised right here in the U.S. of A. Number three, the book would be about the ghettos of the world. And the title would be The Ghettos of the World. <laughs> Number four, set my arms on fire using rubbing alcohol or spitting flames using rubbing alcohol. <laughs> what question elicited that response? I'm still trying to figure that out. Number five, he wrote nothing at all. And number six, he wrote, I love you, God. Jesus, save me. He must have just gotten a sensual massage from Jenna. That's all I can figure. Uh, this was, oh. All right, this was found in a uh, university in North Carolina that will remain nameless. But, um, like, you know, at the end of the semester, you put out those teacher course evaluations. Um, that, what was found was, like, a whole packet of these teacher course evaluations just sitting in a parking lot in the middle of a folder. So, like, I used to be terrible with my teachers. You know, given the benefit of the doubt, it's a tough job. But this class must have been so fucking fucked up because... <laughs> Every student in this class, um, mostly they're writing about how the teacher would bring her six cats to class every day. <laughs> they were like chewing on their ankles, like chewing on their penises and shit. Uh, and so, only one student in 30 does not mention the cats. <laughs> but he's got something else to say. He says, my comments on the course. I cannot remember anything about the content of a specific class any more than I can recall the most boring moments of my life. <laughs> the educational value was so phenomenally low. And my frustration grew into hatred for the teacher. And then it became more widespread, affecting my family and friends and possibly people I'd never even met before. Until finally I reached the point where I hated myself for being there. I'm not going to name names, but that's what a Duke University education will get you. Say out loud, Duke. Fuck the Blue Devils. Go Blue. Um, in Maine, oh, this, this sign was found. And I used to work in a gas station in Michigan, and we put these signs in the door, you know, back in five minutes if you had to take a dump or something. And um, this is sort of like that, different. It says, today is my grandmother's 100th birthday, and there is a raccoon in my bathroom. We'll open at 3 p.m. Thanks. <laughs> what excuse will not do? Get the broke. So I live in Ann Arbor. It's my hometown, Ann Arbor, Michigan. And this kid that lives down the street from me, he is talented at finding interesting receipts. And so about two years ago, he found this one. It's a favorite of mine. It's just got four items on it. It says, gun, gun, ski mask, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> interesting afternoon. <laughs> and then like uh, maybe three weeks later, he found this other receipt. It says, chicken ramen noodles, chicken ramen noodles, chicken ramen noodles, chicken ramen noodles. Chicken ramen noodles, chicken ramen noodles, 12 pack lubricated condom. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting night. <laughs> I like this one. I can't explain why, but it came from Milwaukee. It's dated December 31st, 97, New Year's Eve. It says, Mom, don't panic. I'm safe and sound. I'm spending the night at Gippies. I'll be back tomorrow sometime. Don't call and yell. Yell at me when I get home, please. <laughs> I want to have a good New Year, Slug Kevin. <laughs> and then in New York uh, City, my, uh, like Lower Manhattan, my friend found this one. And when I say my friend, anybody that sends found items into us, gives them to me after the show, that's my friend. All right. This guy found these two flyers like a month apart. The first one's pretty normal. It says, high-end plastering, taping, and skin coating over 25 years of experience. Call Jonathan, 212-492-5109. Well, a couple weeks later, in the same parking lot, he found another flyer in the same type and everything. It says, full body sensual massage for women. 
a handsome masculine man, call Jonathan at 212-425-109. Versatile dude. <laughs> then we'll talk about Jesus. <laughs> we actually have a, like a versatile dude section of the show. It's two parts. That's the first part. And here's the second part right here. And the new issue of Found, Found number six, just came out a couple months ago. Um, we interviewed one of my favorite comic book artists, this guy Daniel Klaus. He does 8-Ball comics. He does uh, Ghost World. They turned that into a great movie. And uh, Dan Klaus is a prolific finder. He's been sending me stuff over the years. He specializes in found flyers because he walks his dog every, every day on the streets of Oakland, California. And so first he found this one. And uh, it's, uh, this one's pretty ordinary. It says, Internet Help. Help in setting up for Mac or Windows, finding a service provider, creating worldwide web pages, maintaining a website called Ross, 510-883-1027. All right, I blew this up at Kinko's a, few, a couple of weeks ago. Here's Ross right here. If you need a website, call him up. He's supposed to be pretty sweet, according to his flyer. All right. Now, after, about a month after Dan Klaus found this one, he's walking his dog, and he finds this flyer. And it says, when you have questions, I deliver answers. Clairvoyant readings with Reverend Ross Uwari. <laughs> And you look at this thing and you don't know if it's like an ad for services or a personal ad. Because he says shit. He says, like, I've fallen in and out of love. Felt like I was on a mountaintop and then walked through some valleys. And then he's got his credentials. He says, currently I'm involved with the production of a series of videos dealing in the correct use of psychic power. I've been a staff member of the Academy of Psychic Studies for over six years. I've served in our country's armed forces for 14 years. Naturally, I would never hire a clairvoyant that has no armed forces experience. <laughs> never been in the shaking like talking to my dad, grandma. Fuck that. <laughs> he does foundmagazine.com. He's a great web designer. Um, maybe, maybe so. Who knows? Um, call him up. Uh, this came from Van Cleve, Mississippi, and it says Death Walkers. All right, how do I explain this? This is like if you're applying for a job. This is a favorite of mine. If you're applying for a job or a PhD program, you got to, you know, go in front of an interview committee, and they're taking notes the whole time. It freaks you out, right? So this guy was applying for the Death Walkers, and at the bottom of his application are all these notes from the selection committee. So it says, Death Walkers, I, Levi DeLuke, solemnly swear that I will be faithful to the Brotherhood and uphold the reputation of the Death Walkers. I also agree to take honor of standing in for another member. Also, if I'm to fail at a task or get caught, I'm not to bring the rest of the gang down with me. Full name, Levi Michael DeLuke. Age, 12. <laughs> Favorite animal, chicken. <laughs> Personal comments, I want revenge on Aaron Shook. <laughs> Smart. I'll be serious about the Death Walkers. Signed, Levi DeLuke. Now, at the bottom here are these notes, you know, from the interview committee. And they say, Levi's definitely a strategic planner. Also very physical. We'll see how it goes. Not sure how seriously he takes the Death Walkers. Also have to decide between Levi and Aaron Shook. <laughs> I'll take Levi. 